Hi guys, so today I'm trying to show you guys how to do a works cited page. I tried to show you guys in class, but I figured making a video would be a little bit easier. Okay, so um, on here, um, your works cited page is, um, right, you should have about 10 sources. Okay, so because each, um, each question should have um, three claims and three sources. So, right, some of those might be the same. So what I'm expecting is about at least 10 sources. So I'm just going to say 10 sources plus. Okay, so basically to do your sources, okay, um, in your guys' um, okay, this is a good example. So this is uh, Rocio's uh, works cited page. So right, um, I like how she put the URL right at the top there and then did just did the easy bib site underneath that. Right, I like that. I like that. It's easy for me to see. It's easy for me to find other things. So... Um, the only thing I would say is that one drawback um, is um, these are not necessarily in alphabetical order, but um, that would be the one drawback I would say. So um, that right, so basically, um, right, I try to put it here, so put it in alphabetical order from the author's last name, okay, so or website name depending on um, when you or what you get sourced, okay, so. Now, right in your guys' paragraphs, okay, I had you guys taking, um, putting notes and putting uh, URL links. Okay, so, so we'll go here. So this is the first one. So this is one by Min by NASA. Okay, and so that's my that's my source. So I'm just going to do that. I'm going to copy it. So Control C, or I can right click and hit copy. Either one, right? Or you can go through and you can um, go to the page and then copy the link there as well. Uh, you can right click on it to copy the link address. You can do that as well. Okay, so then we come here. All right, this is EasyBib, so it's just easybib.com. I, I gave you guys a link to this down here at the bottom, so that way you'd know where to go. Right, and so here, right, um, just use MLA7 is fine. Um, and if you don't change anything, it'll be automatically that. So then you're going to paste your site. Okay, so now when it comes up, it's going to tell you that. Um, I, it's got to tell you um, there you go. okay so basically it's going to um, uh, make it so basically you just click here which is just cited okay, and so then it's going to roll through it's going to be checking to see all these things are here green check marks are good sometimes not every site will do this a good site will have a lot more check marks than others Okay, so it told you the date it was published, all that kind of stuff. So EasyWeb does a good job of just trying to search um, that particular web page for the sources that you need. Okay, and as I scroll down here, there's no red boxes. I'll show you one that does have some red boxes. So you go here and you go to Create Citation. Okay, and so now that citation shows up here. Okay, so the nice thing about EasyBib, you can see that these are already in here. Now, I hadn't done anything. I've been kind of doing this all day. Okay, so basically, as you cite sources, it remembers you. Okay, and so then when you get done, you can say, I want to export this to a Google Doc, or you can export it as a Word Doc. Either one's the same. Okay, it does the exact same thing there. So now for you guys, you guys might not have Word, so right, I just assume you, do, you export it as a Google Doc, and it'll probably make life a little bit easier. Right, so right, or um, you can email it to yourself. You can just do copy and paste. You can do this here. So, like, if I want to do this here, right, I copy this. Now, in my works cited page, I just go through and I just paste it. So on and so forth. Right. So now, as I do that, that that's exactly that's just fine. So, just the only thing. Um, that I would suggest is see how it puts them in alphabetical order. Okay, top is at the bottom, Canada is at top, so on and so forth. So it automatically puts those in alphabetical order for you. Right. Um, the only thing that it doesn't have is the link. So like I like uh, I talked about here. So now you need the link for this whole thing right at the top. So that'll make it a little bit easier to see. Um, so on and so forth. So I can. I can go here back to uh, where I cited. So 
I go to my paragraph and I just copy this, copy the link, and then my works cited page. I'm going to put that right at the top. Okay, so be it enter, it'll make it so it's a link. Right, and then you go to your next one. Do the same thing. Okay, so that's how to make a um, your works cited page. So just take some time. So uh, go back to every paragraph you have. So remember, we have five different paragraphs. So that's here, right? Um, your paragraph five, paragraph four, paragraph three, two, one, right? And so um, a lot of some things have come up of late that um, are kind of concerning, right? That um, some of your links that you might have gotten, especially from the EPA's website, um, that the links might not be there anymore. In that case, I'll try to find you one here. That's by the EPA. There you go. The EPA. Now, when you look this up, that was there. I understand. Now, okay, so some things will be there, like this one is here, even though it's on the EPA, right? And so this one, you would go about it just the same as you would before. So let's go ahead and try one in easy bit. Okay, so I just go right up here, that one, and I go to site. And so, and again here, I go to cite it. Okay, so we got lots of green check marks. So that's good. So the only thing it doesn't have is the author. So then we go back through and we look. And so sometimes, um, especially in articles like this, right, that is written by the EPA, oftentimes they don't have an author. You just look down here at the bottom, or you look at the top, right? Oftentimes with any government things most of the time it's not one person who puts it together so they just choose to put no names on it so we just ignore it and we just go to create your citation now okay so now we got a new link here okay, and that is my link. so um so we can copy and paste the citation so you can say look it's copy right and don't show me that again <laughs> right so we copied um the site and so um, now when I go back to the Works Cited page, now I can add this guy. Okay, so now, especially like that, now when I pasted it here, it, it took with it some um, things. So like, see how it's a different color and that kind of thing? Um, you can do a paste without formatting. Okay, and then what that'll do is that won't take any colors with you, um, things like that. So that way it doesn't get in the way, so to speak. Right, so here to and I want that one. I want works cited. There you go. And then I paste that URL, hit enter to make it that blue link. Okay. And so now it's starting to look like Rosita. <laughs> A great example. So um, hopefully this helps. Um, all right. And you can always text me at remind uh, 81010 Dressel ES. So if you have any questions, thanks a lot. Thanks for watching.